Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to Terraria. So, it's been a couple of days since we finished off Mod of Redemption, so be sure to check that Let's Play out if you haven't seen it yet. But, with the completion of that mod, it is now time to get into another mod. So for this Let's Play, I have chosen the Spirit Mod. Oh yeah. It's time for the Spirit Mod, that's the one that I've chosen. There were a couple more. Oh my god, there's a fish. Atlantic Cod. Okay, there's a whole lot of stuff going on right now. I'm pretty sure I saw that stuff in the trailer. But yes, time for a new mod, and the mod will be the Spirit Mod. I'm very, very excited to play this. I've heard so many good things about it, including that the majority of the things that they changed about this mod are ending up in free hard mode. But for me, that's totally fine, because that is absolutely, without a doubt, my most favorite part of Terraria in general. I am just getting an inventory filled with a whole bunch of new items. I'm curious about that fish. It almost got murdered by a slime. Or, or maybe it can't get murdered by a slime. I don't know. Can I just catch that with like a... I don't know, like uh With a bug net? That'd be making fishing a lot easier. It'd definitely be really good. We're in expert mode, of course, because as always, that's the only real way to play. I'm getting murdered by a blue slime. And that's very... Uh, that reminds me of master mode. Okay. So without any further ado, enough rambling aside. Let's dig down into this mod. So... All the same mods as before, still got Recipe Browser and all that in there, Boss Health Bars, all that good stuff. So I guess once I get myself a decent amount of wood here, I think I'm going to take a look at some of these new items. I should say that I have a little bit more experience with the Spirit Mod than I have had with my other mods that I've done in the past, the other Let's Plays that I've done. But yeah, I, I have relatively no idea what I'm doing still. I've played this mod before, not in its entirety, only a little bit of it. I think I threw it into a Mega Mod pack a while back, but I never actually dug deep into it. So some of this stuff is a little bit familiar to me. I remember the Briar. I remember stuff like that. But that's that's pretty much it. Okay, so I guess uh, we've got a little bit of a start like we did in Shadows of Abaddon. We're sort of half and half in the snow biome. I think that's probably because I'm guessing the Briar is over this way. Or it's on the other side. It's something that's pushing this biome generation a little bit over to the center. I don't know if I want to build a house or, like, a, a main structure in the snow biome. I did that for Shadows of Abaddon, and I remember that was a little bit more of a challenge. We could chop some of this stuff down and make a wooden armor set. I think that would be a good start. I want to go into this a little bit more prepared. But yeah, right now... First episode's just going to be about getting started, building a base, maybe a little bit of surface world exploration, but there's not going to be a whole lot of stuff going on. At least, I don't think so. I don't know what this mod's going to be throwing at me. It's a total enigma to me. That's what we're going to do. Chop down some wood. Chop, chop, chop. Oh yeah. Murder some slimes. Or, or get murdered by some slimes. One or the other, eventually it's going to happen. How about pickaxe? You're not ready for this. Ah, God, maybe you are. Okay, you're a little bit more ready than I thought you were. I'm very slow. Eh. Slowly run away. Maybe, see, this is what I mean. So, Ice Biome is not a very good place to start off with. So, I think we're going to go to the left instead. Nice wide open space over there. We'll build a little bit of a house. Or at least a structure to protect myself. Need to find a place that I can build a domicile that will be comfortable and cozy and sustainable and good. I think I might be a little bit cheaty and use vein miner to get myself a little bit of stone because I want to use that stuff for building and I am extremely impatient and I, I just don't have time for copper tools. Hop. Thank you. Give me a little bit of a lift over there. Okay. All right. This seems like a relatively reasonable place to start building. I don't get murdered by a slime or anything. Can I just build, please? Do you mind? I'm trying to make some progress here. I'm trying to make meaningful progression in the first episode. It's not going so well. Maybe I'll dig. You know what? I'll go over here. Abuse Vein Miner a little bit more. Open up a little path for the water to run into now. Clear that area out. Put some dirt in. All right. This looks like a decent place to build our initial starting area here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a little, little box for myself to live in. And then I will be back. And we can go on some actual exploration. All right, I built myself up a relatively decent little domicile here. I think my safety box ought to be pretty acceptable for right now. Obviously, we're not going to keep it like this. Got to build it up off the ground. I just wanted to get a nice area that was enclosed that I wouldn't get murdered every night in. So I think we're good to go in that department. So as ill-advised as it is to go exploring at nighttime, I think that's the first thing I want to do. There's a cave over to the left, so I think I might try heading down there and see what I can find. It'd be nice if I could get past the, uh, well, 
I guess the star took care of that for me. Anyway, we're gonna go over to the left here. We're going to explore a little bit of the cave over here. Hopefully we find something relatively interesting down there and are not met with immediate death. Okay, let's see what we can find. Got some rope. Rope's always good. Got a chest. Gotta take the stuff out of it first. Let's remember how to play Terraria. It hadn't been that long. We got some sand. That's pretty good. Don't have any explosive devices aside from grenades to help me mine through this. Let's take some of this with us. We can get started on some alchemy. Is this the desert? I am definitely not ready for the desert. That looks like the desert over there. We're gonna skip through that. Ooh, minecart track. Don't mind if I do. Ah, antlion. Oh god, I'm going right into the desert. Never mind. We're going full on. There was a cave. God, I'm gonna die. This was a mistake. This was foolish. What is that going down there? Purple? Okay. I have gone the wrong direction. Take some cobwebs with me, though. I'm gonna get what I can while I'm here before I get murdered. God, they're coming for me. I can hear them. I can hear them skittering with a vengeance. That is what I want to get up to. That chest right there. So if all you guys could just leave me alone just for a second. God, here they come. Oh, God, I'm in trouble. Ah! Ha! Ah. Too fast for you. Way too fast. What we got in here? Some Hermes boots. Take those. Very lucrative exploration. Take an extractinator with us. Mine some ore while I'm down here. I think I'm trapped either way, though. Okay, so going into the underground desert at the very beginning of your Let's Play is a very, very bad idea. Okay, let's try to get out of here. I think that would be the best thing for me to do right now, is get as far away from this as I possibly can. All right, how are we gonna go about doing this? Well, I'm surrounded by death on that side. Maybe I can outrun the swarmer. Nope, but I whacked him really good. Okay, let's go this way. Got a little bit of something out of that, so that's, I'd call that a win. Shoe spikes, sounds good to me. Ah, God, okay, so pit of death, found that. Glad we discovered that. This Let's Play is not gonna be nice to me, is it? This is gonna be the one that's like, you know what, you've had too much good luck with all the other ones, so now it is time to uh, have a little bit of retribution. What is that thing down there? I think I saw a different looking bat. What is that? It is a diseased bat. Oh, good. I just got done dealing with one disease, now I gotta fight another one. And I'm not very good at fighting that one. A lot of hostility in this world. A lot, a lot of hostility. Oh, hold on a second, there's the new soundtrack for the uh, nighttime snow biome. And what is that? Deadeye Marksman. I think you missed, buddy. You got a nice bow and arrow for me? That'd be good. What is that sprite? That's kind of cool looking. He's got like a glowing blue thing there on his face. Give me something nice. It'd be amazing. Old leather. That's all right. I'll take it. I'm sure I can use this for something. It makes leather striders, slightly increased movement speed and acceleration, leather fist wraps, Safeguard. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, let's explore inside the house. What's that give me? Okay, so I got leather fist wraps, slightly increased weapon speed, safeguard, increased max life by 10, and it's a shield, I guess. It's like there is a early game set that I can make, marksman set. That looks pretty cool. Cloak of healing. Minions have a small chance to return life. It's made out of something called dream stride essence. I'll have to find that at some point. Lightning throw, we got a ranged weapon. Throw mock speed dodgeballs. So I have dodgeballs that I can throw. Throw a dodgeball at snail speed. Hero's bow, that's definitely hard mode. A sworn of red wall. That is for much later. Okay, guys, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. It looks like it's just about daytime. It's time to go on your merry way. All right, I gotta build a little area down here for me to put my chests until I am able to get my magic storage rolling. All right, we got our crafting stations ready to go. We got an anvil. Let's check and see what all I can make. So we got an acorn cake. If you're really hungry, go for it. Increase life regen. I guess that's something good I can make out of acorns. We got overgrowth staff. It's a summon weapon. Summons an overgrowth spirit to protect you. Oh, sure, why not? Okay, what are you? You are, uh, is that, is that its face right there? Little eyeballs? What do you do? Uh, start protecting me now would be good. Let's take a look at that other thing that I got. What was it? A frigid fragment. Yeah, there we go. It makes something, it looks like a melee set. Make a frigid spine, shoots out a frost bolt, bone arrow. We got a scepter, magic weapon, and a javelin. Hold and release to throw, hold it longer for more velocity and damage. Occasionally frost burns foes. 
And we got Frigid Fist Wraps. Melee critical strikes may inflict Frostburn. 4% increased attack speed for every nearby enemy. This is something for after I kill the Eater of Worlds. This world is corruption, by the way, I should mention. Doesn't look like there's anything I can craft out of that new stuff just yet. Though I am certain that if there is anything interesting that I'm able to make out of these things, you guys will absolutely let me know. All right, let's go back underground. We're a little bit more prepared this time. I think we ought to be able to handle whatever it throws at us. Oh, I see you up there, Ant Lion Charger. Just trying to worm your way down here. It ain't gonna work. I'm aware of your presence. Step back. Just step back. What is that? We are already coming across a heaping pile of new stuff to explore. Oh my god. And I'm in the snow biome. Fantastic. There's no avoiding this, is there? Okay, fine. Let's go inside this place. I like this. This is very cool looking. Potions everywhere. We got some cool looking banners. Chest. Staff of the Dark Magnus. Shoots out a ball of green flames that jumps from enemy to enemy. Oh my god. What do you do? Oh, that is very cool. I do not have the mana for that, though. What about these books? Is there anything of value standing right up there? No? Okay. Well, this is pretty cool. Oh, okay. That was a mistake. Obstructed, you can't see. Cursed? Okay. So, do not uh, break the chests. Duly noted. Um, I made something very angry. The spooky ghost out there wants my giblets. I guess that sort of is the whole thing about the spirit mod, I guess. There's ghosts that want your giblets. Well, I guess we'll just keep following this rabbit hole, see where it goes. I'm kind of like walking right past all the gems and ore, too. I'm not really paying attention. I'm just kind of mindlessly going down every path that pops in front of me. If I was more intelligent, I'd remember to get all of the things. Looks like we have sort of hit a dead end, though. What about this staff of darkness? Ooh, okay, that wipes him out. Maybe while I'm in the snow biome, I can farm up some of those frigid fragments and go back up there and make this set. Give myself a little bit of defense so I don't get murdered by everything. Oh god, there is a new soundtrack. What is this for? Oh, it's a marble biome. I can't move. I am stuck. Oh god, I, I, I'm gonna drown. Okay, don't drown. Okay, we got a little bit of light. We're good to go. There's another one of those sepulchers down there. I think, I guess that's what those are called. Okay, we're gonna do this the way a real Terrarian would do it. We're gonna throw some bombs down there to mine through that. There we go. That's how real Terrarians do it. Ow, yeah, we get blown up by our own bombs too. It's part of the experience. Ah, God, don't drown me. I'm not ready to die yet. I have things to explore. Ah, God, let me up there. Why is this trying to murder me this time? This game is not my friend. It is being very inhospitable to me today. Love that soundtrack, though. Very cool. It's a new guy down there, Lost Mime. You have an enormous amount of health. And uh, I'm kind of not feeling so good about that. What was that? Blank Glyph. The Enchanter could probably use this. The Enchanter. I'm guessing that's a new NPC. I'm also very close to death. I just noticed that. I'm trying to make my way through this. I feel like I'm, I'm doing this much, much too quickly. I don't know if there's some kind of, like, progression path I should be following. I just see cool thing, and I follow it. I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit. Hopefully nothing comes through the wall and tries to murder me. Okay, so can I kill this guy? He is very beefy. He is taking next to no damage at all whatsoever. Why don't I just do this the way summoners usually do it? Ah, God, get murdered. Oh, God. Nope. Okay, I was confused. All right. Well, I guess that is the way summoners usually do it. I was gonna say hang out up there and let my minion do all the work while I sit back and relax and roll my face across the keyboard, but I guess getting murdered by everything is the way summoners do it too. Well, I did notice something. I got an accursed arrow. Okay, I did not notice that, but I did notice something that is totally unrelated to that, is that I can make an armor set out of stone. How am I able to do that? Right there. It, I should have plenty of stone to make it, but that's definitely something to grab a hold of. A little bit reduced movement speed, but the armor is essential. I am now a rock man. So we got about eight armor from this altogether. Reduction in movement speed. That's all right. But damage taken is reduced by 3% and increases my melee damage by one. Set bonus increases falling speed greatly, increases defense by five when falling, hold up to revert falling speed to normal. I'm surprised I can't just drop myself on these things, on these enemies. It seems like if a man wearing a suit of armor made out of rocks fell on your head, you'd probably be in a little bit of discomfort. There's a whole lot of stuff kind of just getting thrown at me right now, and I'm not even sure how to process all of it. I'm just putting things in my inventory. We're just going with it. Let's put the chest down here, though. I don't know if that's a good idea. Anything interesting and new that I can make. I could use a new pickaxe. That'd be nice. Well, I can make myself an iron one. That'll at least help me with my range problem. 
does not quite look like anything new right now, but as I said before, you guys will let me know if there's anything interesting waiting for me to craft. All right, so back down we go. We gotta figure out what's in that other sepulcher. Or sepulcher? Sep sepulcher? 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 I don't know, something like that. Does the increase to my falling speed also increase the damage I take from impacting the ground? I hope not. Ah, God, we're gonna find out. Okay, there's another one of those disease bats. No, thank you. I will kill you this time. If I can reach you. Come here, fly in front of that. There you go. Ha! Ah, God, get murdered. There we go. I got a bismite crystal, an oddly toxic material. What do you do? So, I. Uh, it seems like every single one of these things, I guess... I can make armor sets and everything from it. Like, all the stuff that I'm getting, I'm able to make suits of armor, accessories. My god, toxin potion? Critical strikes may poison, hit foes, crit chance increased by 4%. There's a new fish. Takes water leaf, bismite crystal. I make a bramble tooth. Summons the protector of the briar. I'm pretty sure that's the vine wrath bane, if I remember correctly. Okay, we're not going that way. We're going this way. We're trying to get back down to where we were. Oh, good. A tomb crawler. Hooray! Oh, wait a minute. This could be very interesting. Oh, yeah. That does a lot of damage to that guy. Can I kill it, please? Don't make me have to run all the way back down here because of this thing. God. Oh, yeah, we're dead. Okay. Well, thank you, Desert. Really appreciate it. Why is there always a diseased bat right here? Is it? Is it me? Am I crazy? Why is it hitting me so hard? My God, I'm just getting murdered by everything. God, just leave me alone. I'm just trying to go back down where I was. Can I explore, please? Thank you. Get away from the desert before I get murdered by something over there. Ah, God. I'm waiting for death. There's something over there. A blue moth. There is a moth. Okay, let's try to be quick about this. Maybe I can get in here and get what I need quickly. There's some silk. I'll take this with me. Might be able to get some gems out of that. There's some blue down there. And jellyfish. There's another room down there. There's a whole bunch of chests here to explore. Okay. We got here. Necrotic pendant. Getting hit occasionally sets nearby enemies ablaze. First flame. Oh, mind if I do. Anything else secret and spooky hidden here? If I break this chest, will it make me blind again? Yes, it will. Thank God it only lasts until that debuff goes away. Okay, let's explore up into the marble biome. See if there's anything new up there. I have to actually get into it, though. I have to mine a hole. Well, since they put new stuff in the marble biome, does this make anything new? Doesn't look like it. Same old furniture. I'm sure there's new stuff in there waiting for me besides just enemies, though. We got a player gun. It's kind of moderately disappointing, but that's fine. We got some gold out of it. We build another house, get the merchant in. That's a plus. We can bring him on this merry crusade. Ah, God, no, don't get stuck in the wall. Okay, there's probably nothing over there worth grabbing anyway. Whatever, it's fine. I mean, there probably is. I mean, realistically, there's probably a whole bunch of stuff over there worth grabbing, but I'm not going to deal with it. I am surrounded by enemies that all hit me very hard, and I'm not prepared for this. Oh, God, now they're coming to get me. Protect me. Overgrowth thing. Go, bow and arrows. God, don't kill me, please. Don't kill me. I don't want to die. I'm not ready. I'm too young. Now, what about this down here? Of course, there's going to be a hoplite. Well, fine, I'll just skip past the whole thing and just dig a hole right into the house itself. Is that another new soundtrack already? Well, all right then. Um, where am I at now? Is this just like an alternate underground thing? I don't know, but there's a lot of stuff down here to chase through the rabbit hole. Stuck. What? Oh, it's the granite biome. Hooray. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, there's something over there getting eaten by wall creepers. Well, maybe I can make it over there to get the stylus in time. Probably not, though. Something is getting murdered. There's another Lumoth floating around up there. Granite Elemental, please just leave me alone. Stay on your side and I won't murder you. I don't know what's getting murdered in there, but there is definitely something that's getting eaten alive. I keep hearing things die. Oh god. Am I is this even worth it? Trying to go through here to kill these wall creepers. Is this even something worth doing? Or am I just setting myself up for failure? Goodness gracious, golly gosh me. Nope, let me out, let me out, let me out right now. You are getting a little bit too frisky, buddy. I gotta tell you that. I gotta let you know, man. You need to stay away. Well, it appears I was not fast enough to save the web stylus, but there is a whole lot of ore over there, it looks like. Whole bunch of stuff. Am I able to mine that? We're gonna go over there and we're gonna find out, that's for sure. You know, in about a year after I get there. That is the one thing that I always miss whenever I start a new playthrough of Terraria is the speed that I was able to traverse the world 
Now I just gotta do it the old-fashioned way. What? What is that? Why is this doing that? Is this just me? Am I cre- What? Creeping ice. Slows down nearby players and enemies. Oh, does it give me like a chill debuff? I wouldn't have even noticed that down there. Is it useful for anything besides... Oh, I can make some statues and tables and flags and a chair. Shiver bark. Interesting. It looks the exact same as regular old ice. I guess that's probably on purpose. Okay, so I'm not able to break this stuff just yet, but I'm gonna have to remember that it's down here. Probably makes a pretty nice armor set or something. What is that? Okay, that... Okay, we're gonna go take a look at that, because that is definitely a starbound enemy. I remember those things 100%. They are cavernous enemies? I think they live underground in, in the different planets you go to. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty common enemy. Oh my god, what is that thing called? A cavern crawler. That is definitely as a that is a starbound reference, as starboundy as it gets. It's even doing its crawl thing where it jumps up and puts its scary face out. Oh my god, that's adorable. You just wait over there. I'm gonna come get you. It'll take me about an hour, but I will get you. Hold on a second. Let me just let me just dig a hole here. Hold on. I'll be right there. Don't move. Give me a minute. I'm just about there. Hold on. Bloom off. You're dead. Probably didn't need to do that, but I did it anyway. Okay. Oh, there's two of them there, it looks like. I guess that does make sense. I'm pretty sure they did spawn in pairs. I don't remember. It's been such a long time since I played Starbound. Or maybe there wasn't two. Maybe it was just me. Oh, there's the granite biome. It's another one of those things. Another cavern crawler. What is that? Oh my god. This mod is so dense. Cavern bandit? Ah, I see. Interesting. There's a couple of them down here. What do you drop? A bunch of copper. Oh my god. There's a chest down there. There are just so many things. Oh my god. Things and stuff in every direction imaginable. I can't even deal with this right now. This is going to be an enormously long episode. I'm very sorry for that, but or maybe I'm not sorry. I don't know. But there is so much to see and do, it seems like. Okay, let's go back up here and take a look inside this granite biome. Enjoy some of that excellent soundtrack that it's got for you. I love it. I love how they gave the mini biomes in this custom soundtracks as well. Everything has a new soundtrack. Oh my god, that's cool. Very cool. Can I get in here without flooding my cavern down below? That is the question. And we got a house. All right. Let's take a look inside, see what we got. Magic mirror, don't mind if I do. Goodbye, recall potions. See you later. Is that uh, button there, perchance, hooked up to the slime statue down there? It is, it's just kind of broken, but we can put it down there. Boom, we got our chance at a slime staff. How about that? Infinite gel. I am very tempted to just hang out here for a little while. Oh god, there it goes. It lit everything on fire. Is it a chance on being hit? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Burn them all alive. Give them that cursed flames. I wonder if there is a crimson equivalent to that. Okay, we're not gonna hang out down here and do that. I'm not I'm not farming for a slime staff. I'm good. What is all that? Harder fish, specular fish are down there. There's a jellyfish. Hey, they really did try to make this mod make it feel like the game was more alive. Anything else worth exploring down here? Alright, we're gonna head back then. Let me throw on the magic mirror there. Head on back up. Alright. That is like the, what, third time I've gone down and come back with a full inventory? This is just intense. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on right now. With all the excess stuff in there. Let's throw down the extractinator and throw this silt in it. Silt in the slush that we got. I'm hoping we get enough gemstones to be able to make a hook. That's the dream, anyway. Huh. Well, that's not good. That's really not good. That is just all kinds of not good. Well, I got a diamond. That's a step in the right direction. All right, inventory is all squared away. Let's see if there's anything new that I can craft now. There are bismite knives. Occasionally causes foes to receive festering wounds, which deal more damage to enemies under half health. It's a ranged weapon. Interesting. I can make a couple pieces that at marksman set. What about in here? Okay. Something called Fulv's Staff. Grants 2% increased magic damage and plus 10 to max mana. I can make that out of any gold bar and 40 wood. Well, don't mind if I do. I got hard on it as well. I'll give myself a little bit more mana, a little bit more magic damage. Might make this Staff of the Dark Magnus a little bit beefier. Ah, take that. It's actually a pretty good weapon. Really good for crowd control. I'm just walking around here with all my sticks. All these sticks I'm carrying with me everywhere. That's pretty cool looking, I gotta say. Okay, well, 
As much as it pains me to say it, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here. I might build an extra couple of houses off camera, sort of in the same vein as this, maybe make this a little bit more of a easily defensible position. Like I said, I just wanted to make this a, a decently sized house, just a little box to protect me from the elements while I go on my initial adventures, but yeah. This is a little bit of the Taste of the Spirit mod, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all other forms of existence. I hope you enjoyed it, because I, I, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this mod. I can already tell. New soundtracks, new weapons everywhere, new enemies, new critters. Oh, we're in for a ride. At least I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. We got lots of stuff to explore. So, like I said, this is gonna be a little bit longer of an episode, but I'm gonna call it an episode here now, guys. So... Thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you're having a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>